I've been asked by a couple people to do a little uh, talk on this press because it just doesn't quite look like all the other presses going and it's made out of it was made designed by Michael Canner in Wisconsin and very unique in its structure that uh, everything is contained within a picture frame uh, we start and the the tubular frame is made out of a real high tensile um, 4 by 6 it's, I don't know, it's real thick, 7 sixteenths or something, steel. And CNC machined and cut and welded and, and uh, everything's contained within a picture frame. That's where all the stresses go. Um, 5 inch cylinder, 2 inch ram, this is the uh, the control setup going on and I'm doing a little forging here doing some Damascus pretty soon and um, we can see the I have a external setup over yonder with uh, my switch box and five horse pump there's the there's the tank and then I got my just has a small cord what I do is I, I have a quick disconnects on the on the fittings for the valve I disconnect that unplug a it's just got one leg of the 220 run up here to a switch turn it off tie everything roll everything up over here on this roll it out of the out of the way and take my press and I roll it over there underneath my bench literally um, this I don't know how I'm gonna do this but what I did somebody talked about how sometimes you think a uh, press needs to go all the way to the floor and, and that's not the case because all of the energy is stress is contained between two points and it's the where the press dies go and the top and all we're trying to all that cylinders trying to do is is squeeze them apart but there's so much strength in this in this frame in this one inch plate and these things are stacked up I think Mike told me that according to his calculations this press frame the materials used the dimensions and so forth was good for 75 tons before there would be any flex so what I did was I took a post office scale and put it put the put an arrow directly underneath where the anvil is and when I run it and press the full 25 tons I'm at five pounds four ounces the needle doesn't move there is no energy transferred to the to the floor of a press it's all contained within itself and then I've got the uh, here I'll turn this on I'm on two two stainless steel they're black because I've got them covered with graphite, but there's two stainless steel guides for the for the machined boot. And then I use posts, like this post, when I squeeze down. Of course, there's one on each side when I squeeze down. It leaves a, all my dies are one inch thick, so it, that leaves an inch and a quarter between the two dies. And then I have these caps, which were a brilliant idea of two guys I had here, Kevin Evans and Brian T, both journeyman smiths in the ABS. And I can add a quarter to that, or I can add a half an inch, or I can add about five eighths of an inch and get different increments because these dies just come right off. And I've got posts for uh, seven sixteenths, I've got posts for a quarter inch. Over here, I've got posts for five sixteenths of an inch. And then, by adding the different spacers on top of those posts, I can come up with all kinds of dimensions. Anyway, right now I've got to get back uh, to the. Um, I wanted to say one other thing is um, I rigged up with the help of a a welder um, by the name of Rodney Conley here in Watsika, Illinois, who's just a 
genius. Um, we rigged up, he did all the, the welding and assembly on the on these parts. When I got it, it was it had never this thing had never been assembled. I designed the pump and and uh, I designed that system over there. Rodney wired it up for me and he is just an unbelievable welder and we uh, I did the hydraulics and he did the electricity and the welding and I've got a combination um, hand lever that is connected to the the valve and then as well we rigged up a a foot pedal so that I can operate both operate both with my foot and then by lever and then kill it when I'm between heating cycles and I keep my different dies and so oh I didn't show the dies they're just they're just six by six half inch plates held in place with a pin and a, a hole that lines up the dies slide out. Top, top and bottom are uh, same thing. So that's the press. Stick the pin in, slide it in, pin drops in and we're good to go.